Hello guys and welcome to TechWolf. In this video, we are going to continue with our Windows Server course. In future, I will also show you how to work with Active Directories, how to work with DNS, how to work with DHCP and many more features of Windows Server. In previous videos, we installed Windows Server 2025 on VirtualBox. So as here previously, we have installed Windows 11. We will be using these Windows 11. So I will be showcasing you the real world scenario how you can work or how you can implement or how you can add them to Active Directory and how you can manage them. But in this video, we are going to do only initial configuration of Windows Server 2025 and click on this Windows Server instance or virtual machine, which we have installed, where we have installed Windows Server 2025 and click on show and this will open up. I have already opened this guys and your Windows Server will look like this and I will look put it into full screen mode so switch it and now i'm in full screen mode first thing if you don't see this server manager here you can close it down first thing if you would want to find it you can search here in the search server manager and you will see here once you will be searching you will see here server manager just click on it and it will open you this server manager which we just were working with and this is all user interface for this server manager and to make this server manager full screen just click here in the right top corner in this tutorial we will be configuring the essential settings on your newly installed windows server 2025 and these settings which we will be configuring include setting the host name adjust the time zone installing updates and configuring a static IP address. These steps are foundational for any Windows Server setup, ensuring a stable environment for further configuration. This is what you will be doing every time, for example, if you will be setting up a new Windows Server. However, you will not be doing in real world scenario, a real workspace every day because their Windows Server will be set up already. Let's start by setting up the host name. You might ask why we need to set up the host name. We need to set the host name because the host name uniquely identifies your server on the network. And the descriptive host name like DC01 for the domain controller helps you manage multiple servers efficiently because you might have or you might be running multiple server instances. To change the name in the server manager dashboard, here on the left hand side you will see this tab local server. Click into this local server. Here you will see the very first tab which says properties very first field will be computer name as you can see currently this is win dash 3d whatever it is guys but you need to click on this computer name once you will click on the computer name it will open system properties window here make sure that you are in the tab computer name as you can see here are four tabs at the top computer name hardware advanced and remote here click into the computer name and here click on this button change and this is the place where you can change a computer computer name for this server or host name for this server. And I will name my server server 2025 dash dc01 and once you have changed the computer name or your server name click here on ok you will get this message computer name domain changes you must restart your computer to apply these changes click here ok and click on close and click on restart now and again I will click here on keyboard insert alt delete to get in and I will enter my password At hit enter I will make it full screen switch when server manager starts again go to local server and you will see that your computer name has been changed. If you can change in real world scenario, for example, in your work environment, your computer name, make sure that you have administrative rights or you have a rights to do so. Because in some cases, you your account, which has been created for you or on some server manager will not allow you to change this computer name. And this computer name, 15 characters maximum, you can't have more than 15 characters of this computer name and can't 
include any special characters. So just keep this also in mind when you are creating a computer names in your work environment. Now once we have changed the computer name, let's go and set the time zone. And the time zone is important because the correct time zone ensures proper logging and synchronization with other systems, especially critical for domain controllers. To change the time zone, open date and time settings. In the bottom right corner, click on date and time. Click on this time zone and select your time zone. As I am in Ireland, I will select this one UTC, Dublin, Edinburgh, Lisbon and London. And it will adjust my date and time settings. Once you have done this, close this window and now you will have set a correct time zone. If the time zone doesn't save, ensure you are logged in with administrative privileges. Exactly the same because if you will not have administrative privileges, you will also not be able to edit time zones. So now let's Let's install Windows updates. This is another crucial step which you should be doing whenever you are setting up a server or if you are looking after Windows Server as installing updates ensures your server has the latest security patches or bug fixes and performance enhancements. And to do that hover over this start icon, right click on it and click here into the settings. Here in this window on the left hand side select Windows update and on this page install all updates or here will or if you will not have any updates here there will be button check for updates click on check for updates and if there will be some updates like in this my scenario click here on install all and once you have installed these updates it in some cases as you can see two updates require restart so let's click here on restart and now let's log back in and now again let's check for updates, right click on the start icon, go into settings, go to windows updates here in the very bottom and here we can see all updates are installed. As you can see here at the top you are up to date. So let's close this down and in next step we are going to configure static IP address and this is needed because windows servers should have a static IP address to ensure consistent network communication as dynamic IP address from DHCP could change causing disruption to services like DNS or file sharing for example and to set up a static IP address in server manager again we click into local server and here we can see more information as you can see in properties about our server and what is going on with our server here you can see that currently we are in group work group work group our computer name is what we have changed here we can also can see that Ethernet IPv4 address assigned by DHCP and this means that we have a dynamic IP address but we need to set it to static IP address so click on this link next to the Ethernet and here on this Ethernet adapter right click on it and click on properties and here select internet protocol version 4 TCP IPv4 and click on properties and here click on use the following IP address currently as you can see obtain IP address automatically so it is being assigned by DHCP server click in second option use the following IP address and here let's add an IP address which will be 192.168.1.10 and click into subnet mask field and it will populate automatically and for default gateway let's also add 192 dot one six eight dot one dot one and for preferred DNS server we can add one two seven dot zero dot zero dot one if the server will act as DNS server otherwise we can use here our network's primary DNS as this will also act in future as DNS server I will also add one two seven dot zero dot zero dot one and click on OK and click on close and then now let's close this window as well and let's open a command prompt and to open a command, pro uh, command prompt in search type in cmd and hit enter here type in IP config to check if we have assigned this address hit enter and here you can see that we our address IPv4 address 192.168.1.10 with subnet mask 255.255.255.0 have been added here and here is also our default gateway 192.168.1.1 if you would want to see more information and to make sure that your DHCP server is also disabled you can also type in ipconfig then space forward slash and all 
and hit enter. And here you can see more information. You can see your hostname. Currently, as you see, Windows IP configuration, our hostname is server 2025-DC01, which we assigned. Then if we scroll down, then here we can also see DHCP server enabled. If we, if we check here, it is not enabled. And this is what we exactly need. Here we can see our MAC address or our physical address, which is 08 or whatever. Here we can see our subnet mask and we can see our IPv4 address, which is 192.168.1.2. So yes guys, in this video we set up the hostname for our server, we configured the time zone, we installed Windows updates and we assigned the static IP for our server. In next videos our server is ready for further setups such as installing roles like Active Directory, Domain Services and much more which we will be looking at in next videos. If you found this video useful leave a like, share this video, subscribe to the channel if you are new and see you in the next one.